Greetings, Elder Blacklight. Now we're gonna pick up from the last video where we left off, demonstrating the power and force that we have within us. The reason why we have this is because we are the original Asiatic black man, what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was trying to get through to us for many, many years. That we are Allah. We are the us in let us make man in our own image. We are the us. God said, let us create the heavens and the earth. We are the us. So anyway, I was watching uh, the Tulsa sister, the Tulsa sister, Survivor 107, begging the white man to recognize the massacre of what they done. This is a front. The white man is fronting, stalling for time. Pat you on the back with one hand, stab you in the back with the other. Never trust a pale face. And a lie. I wrote a comment saying that this is, she was saying that the devil is, uh, no, she was saying that this is her country. This is not her country. See, country is only a concept. Y'all can't understand that. You know, she bought into the American system. It's only a concept of the devil to rule over the melanated people of the planet. I also put in there that the Indians is part of our family. It's in the supreme lessons that the Indians are, you know, with the black man. It's kin to the black man. All melanated people of the planet. The only one that's not is the Caucasian. And this is why he's trying to rule you. And he's trying to fool you. And it ain't dawned on y'all young ones yet. So I wrote that comment. And told you that we are Allah. So this is what this brother is trying to tell us. He's not using Allah. He's using other critical terms that the Caucasians tried to conquer conquer us with until the coming of Master Farah Muhammad and when he told you what God meant through the, through the Elijah Muhammad that God means the possessor of power and force Allah means the all in all Now we're going to connect Born Master Mind's assessment, because he's a scientist, with this brother here. Let's resume. And candles with unlit wicks walking around here. I'm a light bringer. Bobby's a light bringer. We're here to show you light. I'm a lit wick. What I'm going to do is help you to light your own wick. Now let me know when you feel a sensation. Do you feel like the hands in between magnets? Yeah. Okay. This is called, we're living amps, my brothers and sisters. And we all know what the amp is, right? The electro, which is the, the amp, is built on the electromagnetic principle. Now hold out here, um, well first of all, let me, let me, I'm going to show you something else too. The third eye is used, it, 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 it's a magical tool. It controls your thought. It emits energy and it receives energy. Now what I'm going to do is intensify this energy field using my third eye, okay? And let me know when you sense the change. Now, he's trying to make gods out of us recognize the point that we all are gods. Once we recognize it, we become what we what we think and what we are. But you got to recognize it first. And that's why we say you walk around sleep. 
You're walking around sleep. Now your left hand is positive. It feeds energy. Your right hand is negative. It receives energy. Therefore, it's going to take longer for your right hand to feel this vibration because it's sucking it up at the same time you're trying to sense it. You understand what I'm trying to say? But your left hand was feeding so it can feel something repelling against it. Wish doctors used to heal us like just by using these techniques, by vibrations and energy. Using vibration and energy ain't the same thing. But they start start saying that the wish doctors were ignorant. And they, they had the, they had the uh, power to heal, but we the one that taught them medicine. You have your own individual energy field in between your own hands. chakras, all seven chakras, help open you up, raise your kundalini to where you can begin to, as Sister Tai City said, bring all seven bodies into one harmony, one, one vibration, so you can begin to get focused in the light. And by doing this, we can take back the planet. Okay? Get rid of this. Okay? Money. <laughs> we don't need money. All right? Um, we can manifest through the mind what we want. What I want to do is give you, give you my number. I'm going to be here in Atlanta uh, till the end of September. And um, now we're going to go back to Born Mastermind Allah and his presentation on Sineta TV. This is a recent demonstration of him illustrating that we are the gods, the black uh, war machine, physiological war machine. Let's go to it. Oh. We're going to start off with magnetism. You hear me talk a lot about electromagnetism because we are electromagnetic beings. But right now we're just going to deal with the magnetism for this moment. And you'll, and you'll see the influence that magnetism and magnetic fields have on our planet and on us and on nature in general. So magnetism is a class of physical phenomena that are mediated by magnetic fields electric currents and the magnetic moments of elementary particles give rise to a magnetic field which acts on other currents and magnetic moments every material is influenced to some extent by a magnetic field and I'm gonna I'm say that again every material is influenced to some extent by a magnetic feel so let's go in how do magnetic fields influence technology and electronic devices now we've heard for years that you want to keep magnets away from computers right we've heard about 
keeping your credit card or even your library card away from magnets because it has the ability to erase the information and uh, scramble the information. Now, we're not talking about those weak magnets because the computers and um, electronic devices such as cell phones and so on, most of these things have uh, magnets in them themselves. Yet, we're talking about powerful magnets and powerful magnetic fields. And of course, the, the, the newer computers are designed to be even stronger, yet they are nothing in the face of a real powerful magnetic field. Now, the Caucasian, when he was, uh, right after the sister got through testifying about the Tulsa massacre, Black Wall Street massacre, they interviewed him, and the white woman said, well, you got your, your shots, you see, and they, they just trying to, trying to brainwash you again, but a lot of you going to fall for it, because you're scared of the white man, you're scared to challenge him on all levels. Now, he, he, he puts in your face that he's your enemy. But he make you like it. Some of you, some of you go for that. But what I'm trying to do is wake y'all up to the knowledge of who you are. You know, I don't want you to be a follower. I want you to make your own videos. You know, after researching who, who you are, make your own videos. Because the more that we got putting out who we really are like they do they flood television they flood uh, the screen with who they are but we don't do that this is to be continued think about it